The Open State Government, as a show that the state-owned football team, Gateway Club, will gain promotion to the Nigerian Premier Football League, NPFL. The State Commissioner for Sports, Wasiri Siaka, gave the assurance when the executives of the Sport Writers Association of Nigeria, SWAN, led by its chairman, Comrade Michael Ogunsiji, paid him a cuts visit at his office in Abiyokuta, the state capital. According to him, the state government has put everything in place for the team to gain promotion insisting that the club has the players and management to make the projection a reality. He also disclosed that the ministry, with the directive of the governor, would unveil a roadmap for sports development in the state. The report. The body language of this governor is very, very positive and clearly shows that he wants to do a lot in sports. In Nigeria, we are today. If a state government says he wants to host sport festival from his budget, we should know that that person really wants to do something in sport. The reason why all these principals called uh, Gati, um, what is that one again? Governor's Corp. Governor's, Governor's Corp. Corp, all of them. We are going to bring all of them up. And you know the reason why we need them. I, I want to believe that, of course, you understand this very, very, very well. We have the facilities in the state. We have at least, at least one stadium in one region, at, in, one, in this region, in the state. There is one in Ijebu. We have one in Remo. We have two here in Abeku, in, in Egba. There is one in Yewa. If we don't encourage these uh, sporting activities, there is no way we use those things. So we don't have any choice if we really want to maintain, because after the festival, we are going to have a lot of facilities. We want people to use them. And for people to use them, that means that we need to have a roadmap that will make sure that at any point in time, at least every two, two months, one spot or one game is, um, is played one, one of the, 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 the apart from the, the, the stadium, we also have uh, Malik, uh, uh, sporting, uh, like a sport council. Go there and go and see a lot of things there. So we don't have choice than to encourage all these things, asking people to come, encouraging people to. But one thing we want to do this time around is that we, we, are, we are coming up with a, with a policy or a strategy that will enable us to coordinate all these sporting activities. Mr. Commissioner, sir, the Open State people, especially the youth, would love to see the glamorous, the glorious Governor's Cup that has been a kind of carnival in the 90s, in the 80s, and in the early 2000s that has bring everybody together, both the old and young. Because the essence of having this Governor's Cup is to, number one, to eradicate courtism among our secondary school students. Because the Governor's Cup is played among all secondary schools in Ogun State. And uh, this has become why many of us were in secondary school. We played in the Governor's Cup for our respective secondary schools. And uh, we have seen that as an annual ritual that has even you know, kept many of us busy and engaged while we are in secondary school. Because it's part of our extracurricular activities while we are in school. We have to go to school in the morning to train, to prepare for this competition, and go to the lecture room to go and receive our. Uh, classroom lectures and we do this every day so with that no students will have time for courtism or any other social vices as we have it today so you need to revive this to engage the pupils to engage the students for them to be busy while in school so that it will discourage them and disabuse their mind away from uh, social vices we have in our states today